Live from the 107th floor of the Cat Country 107.3 studios, just outside beautiful Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's the Joe and Shauna Sunrise Challenge. It's your chance to fire up your brain and show South Jersey exactly who you are. Now, here are your hosts, Joe and Shauna. Shauna, who's our contestant? We've got Joanna from Cape May Courthouse. Joanna, thanks for and welcome to the Cat Country Sunrise Challenge. Thank you. Hi, Joanna. We have a Hi. question. We have a question for you, but before we get to that, we have a practice question. Okay. I, I see you, you love country music and concerts. What was the favorite, your favorite country concert you've ever been to? Recently, Hardy. Hardy. Ooh, where'd that you, was quick. Where'd you see Hardy at? Um, Camden. Nice. What'd you like best so about good. the show? So good. He's just an entertainer. So would he be your all-time favorite concert, do you think? Or do you have uh, one, even more? That's hard. I saw Garth Brooks when I was 12, uh, and he has my heart forever, so... Uh, <laughs> Guard's hard to beat. I'll give you that for sure. I know. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Joanne. We're going to play our Joe and Shauna Sunrise Show. So what we're going to do is ask you a question, and you're going to have to name five things within 10 seconds. Okay. And if you do that, you win. So what okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you what you have to do, and then I'll repeat it, and then I'll say go, and then you'll the timer will start, and you'll have 10 seconds. Okay. All right. So, Joanna, in Cape May Courthouse, we need you to name five Cape May County towns or cities whose names don't begin with the letter C. So again, name five Cape May County towns or cities whose names don't begin with the letter C. Go. Go. Goshen, Delhaven, Swayton. Um... Two more, four seconds? Oh, so close. Cape May County, that could have been Petersburg, Marmora. I know. I was staying close. I was staying close. Oh, no. oh man. But you took a three out of five. Ain't bad. Uh, Joanne, thanks for joining us on the Joe and Jonna Sunrise Challenge. Thank you. This has been the Joe and Jonna Sunrise Challenge from Cat Country 107.3. <laughs> Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. It's a Thursday morning. It's the 10th day of October already. It's Hug a Drummer Day. Oh, rest in peace. My dad was a drummer. Oh, hugs, dad. Well, thanks. Hugs this to just, the beyond. This just made the, uh, the morning. Just... Sorry. Hugs to the beyond. Love you, champ. It's also Hug a Kevin Day. Kevin! Was, was his name Kevin? We got to find a Kevin. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Kevin! Where are you, Kevin? Love your hair day. Metric day. Metrics? We don't use the metrics. Sure we do. Oh, wait, we do. We're switching over to the metric wait, system no, any not. day now. I was going to say, we don't use the metrics. That was the world mental health. Good morning, we're Joe. If you're a facilities manager at a warehouse and your HVAC system goes down, it can turn up the heat, literally. But don't sweat it. Granger has you covered. Granger offers over a million industrial-grade products for all your operations, including warehouse HVAC maintenance. And even better, they offer access to experts and fast delivery, so you and your warehouse can both keep your cool. Call 1 800 Granger, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. You need to know this morning Hurricane Milton made landfall in Florida last night as a powerful Category 3 storm, bringing life threatening storm surge, heavy winds, and rain. The storm has left more than 3 million customers without power after coming ashore earlier at Siesta Key, a barrier island just south of Sarasota. The story has uh, the storm has damaged the home of baseball's Tampa Bay Rays. Winds ripped off the roof of Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg. The Dome Stadium was being used as a base camp for thousands of emergency workers, although ABC News is reporting there were no injuries. And Atlantic City has been re recommended for five grants by the New Jersey Historic Trust. They include the interior restoration of Firehouse Number 2, 3, and 6 and funding for a Black History Tour. No other city received as much funding as Atlantic City. In addition, grants are recommended for the Upseekin Lighthouse and Jim Whalen Boardwalk Hall. And so much for Red October. The Phillies saw their season come to an end last night as they were eliminated in the division series. Sucks. The, the worst part of it, they lost to the Mets. I know. Beat the Mets. Oh, yeah. Beat the Mets.
Ugh, the worst. <laughs> Your South Jersey weather for today. Lots of sunshine, breezy, and a little cooler with a high of 63. Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash storm. It's Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and John. A cash cow is back today. 820, your first chance to win up to $30,000. Right now it's time for Jonna's Fangirl Update. Hurricane Milton made landfall in Florida last night as a Category 3 hurricane. Even more cleanup efforts are going to be needed now that the South has seen two hurricanes in two weeks. Can you even imagine? Ugh. Taylor Swift to the rescue, though. She came through before Milton hit land last night with a $5 million donation to Feeding America. They even shared on their Instagram post with the news that fans are also trying to add to Taylor Swift's donation. So thank you to all the Swifties. We've got Dolly Parton, Morgan Wallen, Luke Combs, and Eric Church, who've also donated as well. We've got more on that up now at catcountry1073.com. If anybody is prepared to live off grid, it is Carrie Underwood, okay? Carrie's growing that green stuff now. No, not that green stuff. She's got all the spices covered that you'd ever need. Parsley, basil, chives, thyme, and sage to be exact. Give me a garden, a dehydrator, and a label maker. That's what she capped in her recent Instagram post, showing off all the homemade, homegrown spices she prepared for the winter. And we've got that one up for you right now on the Cat Country 107.3 app. The Jana's Fangirl Update on Cat Country 107.3. 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jana. We searched the internet and found uh, this girl who was abandoned. Take a listen. I think I have lost the absolute last shred of hope I had Mm. that there's still good men left in the world. Just went on a date. I thought it was going well. Mm -hmm. Talked nonstop, back and forth for uh, over an hour. And then all of a sudden he had to take a call from a client and he never came back. And I got stuck with a $90 tab for his beers and pizza. Jeez. So I'm not doing this anymore. You guys suck. That ever happened to you? No, I've never got stuck with a bill for something on a date. I've never stuck anyone with Oh a my bill. goodness gracious. That's the cringiest thing you could ever you do. And like way to not be a dude. I'm sorry. I said what I said. Ew. So our question of the day today, we'll add just more at 720, but you can answer it before that. Did a date ever leave you and stick you with the bill? Or did you ever leave a date and stick her with the bill? Dates derailed. We want to know your story. Tell us uh, 609-383-1073 or hit the message us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Joe and Jana, this Saturday, Brad Paisley, Ocean Casino Resort in Atlantic City. But before that... We're having a Joe and John a pre-party for Brad Paisley. It's going to be so much fun. It's going down in Top Golf, right? Top, top Golf's Swing Sweet Bar and Kitchen is their official name. Can't wait. And it'll be from 5 to 7 Saturday. Come on out and join us. We're going to have a lot of fun. There'll be some drink specials, food specials, fun games and prizes. We'll also have your last chance to win Brad Paisley tickets for Saturday night. And your friend will be singing. I know. I'm so excited to see her. Megan Knight. Nashville Are you friends sing- with everybody? I uh, Yeah. I have a lot of friends. Yeah. Megan Knight. She's from Williamstown. You might have seen her on American Idol. Nope. She, she's going to be we're singing. Good. Yeah. She's going to be singing on um, Saturday night. So we're really excited for that. So again, Brad Paisley, Ocean Casino Resort, Saturday night. Before that, 5 to 7. Come and join us at... Top Golf will have Cat Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. Time now for your Cat Country joke of the morning. Brought to you by our friends at East Coast Roofing Side and Windows. If you call, they'll show up. EastCoastRoofing.com. Brian lives in Dennis Township. He sent us today's joke. Thanks, Brian, Brian, thank you. Husband and wife came for counseling after 25 years of marriage. When asked what the problem was, the wife went into an angry tirade, list- listing each and every problem they had ever had in their 25 years. She went on and on and on and on and on. Finally, after allowing this to go on for a significant length of time, the therapist stood up walked around his desk and asking the wife to stand up, embraced her, and kissed her passionately on the mouth. Oh. The woman shut up and in a daze quietly sat down. The therapist turned to the husband and said, see, this is what your wife needs at least seven times a week. Do you think you can do this? The husband thought for a moment and said, well, Doc, I can drop her off here on Mondays and Wednesdays, but on the other days I golf. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow.
Cat Country 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jonna. Time now for your Cat Country Dumb Story of the Morning. Where are we going? Tokyo, Japan. A couple was arrested, thrown in the backseat of a police car. And then they got even into more trouble. On the way to the police station, while they were handcuffed in the back of the patrol car, they decided to... <clears throat> get busy with one another. How does that even work? If your hand, I, I'm not going to ask. Never mind. Apparently, it had. Safe. Good morning. If you're a facilities manager at a warehouse and your HVAC system goes down, it can turn up the heat, literally. But don't sweat it. Granger has you covered. Granger offers over a million industrial grade products for all your operations, including warehouse HVAC maintenance. And even better, they offer access to experts and fast delivery, so you and your warehouse can both keep your cool. Call 1 800 Granger, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. You need to know this morning Hurricane Milton made landfall in Florida last night as a powerful Category 3 storm, bringing life threatening storm surge, heavy winds, and rain. The storm has left more than 3 million customers without power after coming ashore earlier at Siesta Key, a barrier island just south of Sarasota. The story has uh, the storm has damaged the home of baseball's Tampa Bay Rays. Winds ripped off the roof of Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg. The Dome Stadium was being used as a base camp for thousands of emergency workers, although ABC News is reporting there were no injuries. And Atlantic City has been re recommended for five grants by the New Jersey Historic Trust. They include the interior restoration of Firehouse Number 2, 3, and 6 and funding for a Black History Tour. No other city received as much funding as Atlantic City. In addition, grants are recommended for the Epsican Lighthouse and Jim Whalen Boardwalk Hall. And so much for Red October. The Phillies saw their season come to an end last night as they were eliminated in the division series. Sucks. The, the worst part of it, they lost to the Mets. I know. Beat the Mets. Oh, yeah. Beat the Mets. Ugh, the worst. <laughs> Your South Jersey weather for today. Lots of sunshine, breezy, and a little cooler with a high of 63. Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash storm. Free mornings with Joe and John. A Cat Country morning birthday shout out start right now. And we got a famous birthday first. We got a shout out Tanya Tucker, 66 years young today. Tanya, happy birthday. I once went bowling with Tanya Tucker. No, you didn't. It almost sounds like a date, but it wasn't. I was just going to ask you. Bowling <laughs> sounds oddly specific for, like, a uh, morning show host. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I went, That's, okay, there's more to it. I was going to say, you got to elaborate. Uh, I once went bowling with Tanya Tucker and Dirk Spentley. Together at the same time. The three of us. That's so cool. Yeah. That's fun. Where? Uh, it was a lot of beverages in Nashville. Oh, that's cool. After a lot of me. That's cool. All right, let's get back to birthdays. Happy birthday, Lydia Allegretto of Seville. Lydia is 56. Happy Tina, birthday. Tina DeAngelis of Greenbank is 54. Idazle Hunter of Estelle Manor. I hope I got that right. That's Idazle a beautiful is 30. Name. That's so cool. Natalie Napier of Yuna is 51. Tori Flath of Estelle Manor is 30. Happy birthday to Megan Clegg. Dave Martin of Mays Landing is 46. And Brett Leopardi of Northfield is 56. Happy birthday. We miss you. Happy Wendy as well. The recipient of our Cat Country Big Birthday shout out today, Tori Flath of Estelle. One seven point three. Mornings with Joe and Jana. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to a Thursday morning. We've got a traffic note first of all this morning. Uh oh. Uh, Atlantic City Expressway westbound just past exit 28. That's Route 54. Right lane. we got a car on fire. So again, a car Jeez. fire, Atlantic City Expressway, just past exit 28 westbound. Okay. So, if you're so in that's that area, going out past Hamilton. All right. Yeah, out past Hamilton. Yep. Or as we like to say. Hamilton? Westbound. Oh, westbound. Yeah. Oh, got that's, it. That's the... I got it. Cat Country 107.3. We have a question of the day this morning. We want to know, did a date ever stick you with the bill and leave you, or how did the date do you wrong? That's... Six, 609 383 uh... or hit the... Uh, message us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. We uh, played this earlier from the internet. Uh, a girl talking about her date. Take a listen. I think I have lost the absolute last shred of hope I oh. had that there's still good men left in the world. <sighs> Just went on a date. I thought it was going well. Talked nonstop, back and forth mm -hmm. for uh, over an hour. And then all of a sudden he had to take a call from a client uh, mm. and he never came back uh -oh. and i got stuck with a 90 dollars tab for his beers and pizza 
So I'm not doing this anymore. Oh, you guys suck. Seriously? <laughs> like you can hear the pain in her voice. You know what I mean? You the $90 she sounds have to so come out of her wallet. Broken. Yeah. yeah. Ugh, people has, suck. Has, has this ever happened to you? Let us know. 609-383-1073. Uh, or message us on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Or you, you actually expanded the question a little bit. You said... You're d- just a date derailed. Like, gotcha. dating lives derailed. Just tell us the worst thing that's ever happened to you. Because <laughs> clearly, based on this young lady alone, it's getting worse out there, okay? So I want all the tea. That's what Jamie from Weeks sounded. did. All right, here, the best answer so far comes for, from uh, Jennifer Zimmerman. Again, did a date ever leave you and sick you with the bill? Jennifer says, does a deadbeat dad count? Jennifer, that, I guess, yeah, I would say that counts. <laughs> Did he, I mean, that's, that's like the ultimate leaving. That's you like a, a life to right, right, exactly. I mean, kind of, kind of. I feel you on that one, yeah. but yeah, for sure. Jamie from Weekstown messaged us on the app. She said, ended up dating a guy for a very short time. Found out our very first date. He ended up borrowing the money from his dad, and we went to dinner with his mom. <laughs> so not only did he not pay for it. He, she met his mom the second time. Country 107.3 Mornings with Joe and John. We're looking forward to a big party Saturday night. Ocean Casino Resort, Brad Paisley in concert. But before that, your Joe and Jonna, Brad Paisley pre-party at Top Golf at Ocean Resort. We're going to be there from 5 till 7. If you still need tickets to go see Brad Paisley, you're going to want to get your butt out there. Again, that's 5 to 7. Ocean Casino Resort inside Top Golf Swing Suite Bar and Kitchen. My friend Megan Knight is going to be there. She's a Nashville singer-songwriter. She's actually local. She's from Williamstown, so that's pretty cool. She's helping us out with this event. It's going to be so much fun. Make sure you come out 5 to 7 on Saturday night. You know what? We actually have some Brad Paisley tickets. We're going to give those away uh, between 8.15 and 8.30. Country 107.3, Mornings with Joe and Jana. Cat Country Morning Trivia is up next. Brought to you this morning. Buy South Jersey Gas. To learn more about switching to gas, 0% financing and rebates on HVAC systems, visit SouthJerseyGas.com slash love my home. Prize and trivia today. Two tickets to see Parker McCollum. Saturday night, 730. He's going to be at Freedom Mortgage Pavilion in Camden. It's going to be indoors at Freedom Mortgage Pavilion. I guess they just closed all the things up. Yeah. Inside. How cool is that? that Sounds very claustrophobic to me. It'll be really cool. Okay, I'll take yeah. your word for it. Yeah. So two Parker McCollum tickets for Saturday Night Freedom Mortgage Pavilion in Camden. Here's the question. A survey said these are the top three places American couples kiss the most. Not, okay. inclu- not including inside their own home. So where are you kissing outside the home? Um, first, somewhere away from the kids. First two answers are car okay. and airport. Where's the in third? In the airport? Oh, like if you're saying bye, yeah, maybe? Yeah, sure. I guess. Where's the third place, top three, third place that American couples kiss? Again, uh, not inside the home. That, that's not counting. Uh, we're not counting that. Okay. Car, airport, and where else? Car, airport, and where else? Okay, there you go. 609 383 1073. Do you have a guess? Sure. The garage? The garage is inside the home oh, or you're inside right. the. That's- Part of the home You're that's right. not attached to the house. John of failed. Or three mornings with Joe and John. This is how we roll. I guess if you had to pin me, pinpoint me down and ask me how I rolled, I would say I don't know. I have no. Idea. I don't know how I roll. I don't know. I think it changes year over year with you. <laughs> I don't know how I roll. Probably, I would say so. I don't know. Cat Country 107.3 Morning Trivia is on the air at stake. We've got tickets to give away to see Parker McCollum Saturday night. He's going to be up at the Freedom Mortgage Pavilion in Camden. Here's your question. Top three places American couples kiss the most, not including in their house, because that's far and away the number one answer. So where do couples kiss the most after their home? Um, with three answers. First answer, car. Second answer is airport. What's the third most popular answer after car and airport? And, and of course, house. So it's not detached, your detached garage? Not your detached garage okay. or attached garage. All right. Let's go out in the garage so. and make out, honey. Let's so go to the phone. have to. Hi, Cat Country. Hi, is it the car? The car? No, I gave you the car. I said uh, what? car and airport that. are two of the answers. What's the third? Oh. I'll give me three, is it... three seconds. Three. Is it two? One and a half. In the mall. One, no, oh, the no, mall. No, that's not it. Thank you. Are there malls anymore? Hi, Cat Country. <laughs> what's your answer? 
Is it at a restaurant? At a restaurant is not it. Thank you. Hi, Cat Country. What's your answer? Is it at a restaurant? No, that's not it. Thank you. Good morning, Cat Country. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, just calling to say about where couples did. Yes. yes. That's why we're answering What's the What's your phone. answer? What do you got? Oh. Hospital. What's that? Hospital? The hospital. No, that's not it. Thank you. A kiss before death. Ew, stop it. Hi, Cat Country, what's your answer? Stop it. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Good morning. What is your answer? How about at their wedding? Oh, oh. wedding. That's, that's good, but that's not it. Thank you. Because that only happens once or twice or three times. Three times, six nowadays. Hi, Cat Country, what's your answer? <laughs> In the hospital? No, that's not it. Thank you. I mean, A they probably one for do, hospital. but yeah. That's a good answer, I guess. Right. Top three places Mary or top three cu- places American couples kiss the most, not including in their home, mm-hmm. car and airport are the ones we gave you. What's the third? Hi, Cat Country. Hello. 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 Hi. What, what, what's your is answer? it the elevator? Elevator is absolutely right. Wow. How, how did you know that? Did you look it up? I actually just googled it. Yes. Well, that's very <laughs> that's good. Fine. That's very good. That what, works. What's your name? Courtney. Courtney, where are you from? Courthouse. We got two tickets for you to see Parker McCollum Saturday night. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Good morning. We're Joe and Jana here at Three Things You Need to Know this morning. Hurricane Milton made landfall in Florida last night as a powerful Category 3 storm, bringing life-threatening storm surge, heavy winds, and rain. The storm has left more than 3 million customers without power after coming ashore earlier at Siesta Key, a barrier island just south of Sarasota. The story has uh, the storm has damaged the home of baseball's Tampa Bay Rays winds ripped off the roof of Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg the dome stadium was being used as a base camp for thousands of emergency workers although ABC News is reporting there were no injuries and Atlantic City has been re- recommended for five grants by the New Jersey Historic Trust they include the interior restoration of firehouse number two three and six and funding for a black history tour. No other city received as much funding as Atlantic City. In addition, grants are recommended for the Epsican Lighthouse and Jim Whalen Boardwalk Hall. And so much for Red October. The Phillies saw their season come to an end last night as they were eliminated in the division series. Sucks. The, the worst part of it, they lost to the Mets. I know. Beat the Mets. Oh, yeah. Beat the Mets. Ugh, the worst. <laughs> Your South Jersey weather for today. Lots of sunshine. Breezy and a little cooler with a high of 63. Weather brought to you by Atlantic City Electric. Storm season is here. Atlantic City Electric knows a little prep makes a big difference. See how you can stay connected during storms and prepare to weather any weather at AtlanticCityElectric.com slash storm. Cash cow. That sounds pretty good, right? You're going to have 10 chances to win the free money today. What you need to do is listen at 20 minutes past the hour from now through 5.20 p.m. today. Every hour we give you a code. Take the code. Put it in the Cat Country 107.3 app. Hit the button that says win $30,000 cash. And hopefully we'll be calling you to tell you you won money. Maybe even the $30,000. Cash Cow is powered by Bennett Chevy and BennettChevy.com. Your first Cash Cow code of the day is one four one. One four one. You're going to tap that win $30,000 button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. One Four. One. One is the code that you need right now. And then we'll be back here in an hour to give you the next. Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. Joe and Jana, where's the party Saturday? Well, it's with us at Ocean Casino Resort. Brad Paisley will be at Ocean Casino Resort Saturday night before the concert. We're having a Brad Paisley pre-party at Ocean Casino Resort at the Top Golf Swing Suite Bar and Kitchen. There'll be country music. There'll be drinks. There'll be food. We'll have a chance for you to win some cool prizes, including Brad Paisley tickets. But why wait till then? We can do it right we'll now. We'll give you some Brad Paisley tickets right now. We're going to play our game called High Low. We'll get you on the phone. We're going to ask you one question. You're going to have to answer high or low. If you get it right, you're going to see Brad Paisley Saturday night. We'll give you two tickets. Caller 7 